So I wanted to give uh, a few props to uh, my technicians. One of the hardest things that you'll ever do is to go back behind somebody else's work and try to figure out why the heck is it not working? Um, what's going on with it? What can we possibly look at? It, it's, it's very difficult. So uh, I'm gonna show you, a, forgive me here, it's kind of a destroyed evaporator coil, but uh, this is a carrier evaporator coil. And um, it, it had a leak in it, but it also had a lot of airflow problems and we couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. Um, it checked everything under the sun. Um, this is the back side. So typically what you would see is this would be the evaporator coil and then right here would be the furnace. And we got to looking in the top part of this coil is blanked off because the cabinet for the coil is actually bigger than the cabinet for the furnace. And so they lined up the bottom of the furnace with the bottom of the coil, blanked off all the extra space, right? And so in most cases, I gotta be honest, look, you know, I was an installer for a very, very long time and you wouldn't think that that would be a big thing. I mean, the airflow is still gonna go across the evaporator coil. And so my tech took a little bit of time, we did some digging and here's what we found. So this is actually the installation guide. If you see here, they want the furnace with a transition to match up the same size as the coil, or you can use a transition that lengthens it out, right? That, that kind of goes at an angle to match. Same thing on the left side. Or you can match it up to the bottom and then go upwards. Same thing if it's laying this way. Here's what it actually says. I know that it's gonna be hard to read. Um, let me see, da, da, da. applications below are allowed in some cases, but not recommended. And if you look right here, furnace, coil, filler plate, right? That's what we were just seeing out there. It's not recommended. Now, anytime a manufacturer says that, never does a manufacturer want to say, don't ever do it this way. They don't ever tell you that. What they'll say is what that word just said, not recommended. So we went back to that homeowner's house, did exactly what needed to be done, re-hung um, the system so that it matched the airflow properly, it solved all the issues. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. I think we were at this homeowner's home like five, six times before we finally came across, oh, it's not a, actually something super mechanical, it's something that happened on the first day of the life of the system. And I've said that before on many occasions too. The most important day of the life of your AC system is the day it's installed. It's not really the manufacturer or who made it or what the brand name is. It's the installers that put it in that's going to decide whether or not that unit's going to last you for 15 or 20 years or if it's going to start going bad at 8 or 10 years. So anyway, props to the tech. Did his homework. See you later, guys.